Lake Urban has rapidly been identified as an impaired water system, meaning the quality is much lower than expected. As Mal Meyer reports, the Minnesota Environmental Pollution Control Agency is wrapping up a study on how to reduce pollutants and unwanted, unwanted nutrients which harms our water sources. About five years ago, when the Minnesota EPA collected samples from various water sources in the Mississippi headwaters, they noticed that Lake Irving wasn't hitting the mark. Digging down deeper into the data, we realized that this lake is lacking the habitat, we're lacking the water quality to support that we listed as being impaired. In years past, they would chase down the issues when they arose. We'd follow up on complaints on lake algae blooms or streams that maybe uh, didn't look right. Now other agencies like the Soil and Water Conservation District are working with them for more long-term solutions. City stormwater used to historically run straight into the lake through stormwater pipes. Sediment basins like the one behind the Visitor Information Center stop the nutrients attached to dirt before they can spread, causing issues like algae blooms. So it went from 0% uh, treatment to a pretty good reduction in at least total suspended solids and nutrients going into the lake. The SWCD could implement a similar project in Lake Irving. The Watershed Restoration and Protection Strategy report being prepared by the state's Pollution Control Agency will determine how to address the root of the problems. We submitted it to EPA and we got their comments back here earlier this summer and we're working on addressing their comments. From there, the public will be able to comment on the findings before the report is completed sometime next year. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency will retest Lake Irving in 2023 following treatment of the lake. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.